going to get right into it, Baruch Hashem. We're doing like a, a real stealing Torah, Mamash. Like the phone is broken, trying to fix it. I have service right now. Hopefully it doesn't cut out and we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for being flexible. You know, we always talk, talk about um, the ability of being flexible from the PSSNA. And we're all showing it right now. 7, 7.47 p.m. We usually get on at 9. This is Gavaldic. Now, we're talking about faith. This learning is Bashim Kol Yisrael for people who need to refuel. Pesach for Uvi, Bit Nusaf, Asara, Bracha Bas, Yehudis, Miriam, Dodi, Baschano, Yocheved, and for all the people that need to refuel. Literally, literally all over the world. Mamash for them. And that's feel Bashim Kol Yisrael is that we mamas should be shining like the candles, the Shabbos candles in Moshe Shif's screen. Is that the Shem? So this is the, one of my more, this is one of my favorite, favorite Rabbi Nachman pieces. Um, really changed my life in multiple ways, in a lot of ways. And every single time I learn it, I see something different. I hear something different. And I would love to hear you guys and think what you have to say. So we're talking about relying on God. The Sicha Bet and Sicha Daran, everybody knows. It is very good to rely on God completely. As each day begins, entrust your every movement in those of all who depend on you into God's hands, asking that everything should go according to his will. So it's a little uh, secret from Rabbeinu um, as we open up the piece. When we wake up in the morning, we say, Moda'ani l'fanecha, l'chai v'kayam, etc. Right after, we say, Ribbana Sha'ilam, whatever happens today is in your hands, and it's according to your will. That gives us this security net. This gives us this, this um, security throughout the day. Mamish, when we're going through the highs and we're going through the lows, knowing that everything is from the Ribbana Sha'ilam, from the most mundane things to the most spiritual thing and uplifting thing and experience. It's all from the Ribbana Sha'ilam. But if one doesn't do that, it'll be much harder because you, you may not know. You may be lost in the sauce. But if you start your day by saying, I rely on God completely, and know that everything is according to as well. You'll know at 1.47 p.m. You'll know at 7.50 p.m. You will then not need to worry about whether or not things are going as they should because you are relying on God. This takes a lot of, lot of bitachon and muna, faith, all the words like Samson was telling us last night. Because if we're going by this, um, perspective and, and um, I guess mindset our eyes have to be open we have to try to have our eyes open all the time because we could go through experience throughout the day where it may not seem like it's from Hashem where it seems like it's separated where it seems like where's Hashem when I'm in this situation or the situation that's happening around me but this is where our eyes need to be open and say there's 40 days until Hanukkah, there's five until Shabbos. And we all know that it's one. Everything is one. And one is Hashem. The world is Hashem. If he wants things to do differently from the way you may wish, you'll be willing to accept everything the way he wants it to be. Right now, right now, obviously it's ideal to be consistent with time each and every night with stealing Torah. On the minute we try, we mamish try forever. But right now we have an emergency stealing Torah, and look what happened. We're all relying on Hashem. We all said at the beginning of our days today, Ribbana Sha'ila, I rely on you. Everything's according to your will. You see, Farka had a quick time to steal, uh, to steal some Torah. Michael's on the train, and it all worked out. Hashem said, This is the time. Gevald, our eyes were open. We all know it's the deepest, deepest, and this will put everything into perspective. 
A holy drunkard sees only one. What does this mean, Kavra? What is the difference between non-holy drunk and a holy drunk? A non-holy drunkard, if he sees 10 people, he says he sees 100. If he sees a million, he says he sees 10 million. And Samson is pointing to it right now. A holy drunkard sees only one. There's nothing else. However, sometimes we need to be, or all the time, we need to be a holy drunk. We need to say whatever situation I'm in, it's from the Rebona Sha'ilam throughout the day. There's going to be a million curveballs. Things may not be uh, uh, so clear. Things may not make sense to us. Right? We may want one thing, but Hashem saying you need the other. But if we have the perspective of a holy drunker, everything is one. Everything is one. Bezrat Hashem, we should be a holy drunkard and not a non-holy drunkard. Questions, comments, please feel free. So what they said about the prophets in the times of, uh, I guess, the Beit HaMikdash and before that, um, said that they were crazy. Like they were called uh, crazy people. It's because they were on such a high level that they that they weren't like, like you looked at them and, and they seemed crazy. So it's similar to the idea of uh, of the holy drunkard. Because like, you must be crazy to believe that everything is one. You must be out of your mind. <laughs> doesn't like on a surface level, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. But it's attaching yourself to, to a different world. And on the surface level, it doesn't make sense, but it does. It does make sense. It's a, it's a deep teach. <laughs> it's a deep teach. I'll have to, I'll have to, I have one thing to say and then I have to go because it's almost Mark. And that is that. And you realize that you're never the aspect of us never being alone is what is what allows us to realize that there's only one and you might say to me well, what do you mean you're never alone like right now i'm sitting by myself but obviously i'm also sitting with all you on zoom but obviously i'm also sitting with with hashem but i'm also obviously sitting with, with my neshama my ruach my nefesh my chai my yechida we realize it's all one. The realization that we have so many kohod, so much mul multiplicity in our lives, but it's all entirely one. As the, as the fifth Labavat Trevi said in the pasuk, "Mara buma secha Hashem." Mara buma secha Hashem. There's a problem with that pasuk. Mara buma secha. How great? How many are your are your actions? Hashem Yudke Vavke. Everyone knows the name Yudke Vavke signifies unity and oneness. How is it possible that in oneness there's multiplicity? And he explains that by the lights of Hanukkah candles, this is a drush on Hanukkah, uh, he explains by the lights of the Hanukkah candles and the, the hit nakduf, the, the fighting against the Yavanim, who, who also wanted one. They also wanted one, but they wanted the one to be the body. They didn't want the one to be the soul. And to realize that the, the multiplicity of the soul allows us to be one. The multiplicity of the, what's the line? The oneness of the soul allows multiplicity multiplicity of the body, I think is the, is the correct term, terminology for it. Realizing that our souls are entirely unified and therefore unifying the entire world within, within that concept. If this is too much, I'm sorry, I have to leave. The deep capitalist. <laughs> so good. Go. Good night, everyone. Good night, um, does anyone else have anything to share? Hershki. Oh, what a pleasure seeing you. Hevra, like this just all goes back to the point. We all know that each and every one of us, when we woke up in the morning, we said Moda'ani, we said all the brachos. In there, we said, Ribbana Sha'ilam, I rely on you. I'm relying on you throughout the day. I know that everything's from you, everything is one. So it's a beautiful thing to get on at 7.57 p.m. It's working out with Farka's schedule, with Michael's schedule, with Jacob's, with Jordan's, with Yoni. It's a beautiful thing. 
beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Ribona Shalom, for bringing everyone here, for allowing them to really just awaken my soul. Mom is firing it up, firing it up, Chavra. Any other questions, comments, please feel free. And as I'm saying that, my phone started to work. I think it's updating now. Baruch Hashem. Totally cracked my other one. Shvira So good. So good. <laughs> all right. Hershke has nothing to say, but everything to say. We all know. Um, but he just doesn't want to reveal the secrets. Same too with everyone else. Indescribable. Mamish. Indescribable. Chevra. We should all be healthy, happy, and successful, whether you're on the train, whether you're in Beit Shemesh, we just got to Herzliya, whether you're still on the beach doing major, major, he's going to do Spamish, whether you're in Queens, whether you're in YU, visiting all the Rebbe's of New York and all the Kabbalists, we should all be healthy, happy, and successful. It really uses Torah, and it should change our days, change the way we live should uplift the way we are and uh, have our be well.